Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a simple top-down player movement in Godot. Let's run the game to see the final result that we are going to achieve by the end of this tutorial. Our player can move left, right, top and down, and even diagonally, by holding two buttons at the same time. When we don't press any button, the animation of our character gets back to the idle state. So let's try to recreate this step by step together. Close the window and for this we'll need only character body 2D and animated sprite 2D. In the animated sprite 2D I've got a few animations, if we can even call this an animation because it's only one frame, but anyway it's set to autoplay as our first animation. We've got walk down with 4 frames, walk left, right and up. That's all we are going to need. And rest of the magic will happen in the script of character body 2D. So here we will need to add a script. And here at the start we will have physics process and ready function. For now we won't need ready function. So it extends character body 2D and function physics process. We'll need to create movement speed. That's the speed that our character is going to have while walking. Character direction and that is vector2 and another one is character direction that will help us to determine which direction is our character moving right now and I need to tell you that I've based my movement logic on a simple state machine but be aware that it's a very simplified version of it and if you'd like to learn more about state machines then let me know in the comments for now let's explain what's happening here so I've got enum states where I've got idle and move those are two states that my character can have. And of course current state, because I need to know the state that my character is currently in. And as a default, I set it to idle, because when we load the game, our character should have idle state. And in physics process, I've got two functions, handle state transition and perform state actions. Don't be scared because it's very easy and I'm going to explain it function handle state transitions is here for us simply to determine which state our character should be in. And here in this function, for example, is pressing UI left or UI right or UI up or UI down. And that means that the player wants our character to move. And those are the controllers. On your keyboard, they're simply arrows. So if player clicks one of those, then current state equals states.move. That way we change current state to move. And later we'll use the current state to determine what logic should has our character while in this state. But let's stay here for now. If player is not holding any of those buttons, then here else velocity equals velocity that move toward vector 2.0 movement speed times 100. And we don't need that 100. So let's remove it. And also, while I was explaining it to you, I found a better place for this velocity logic. Because it should be down there. Let's comment it for now. Okay, so in our else, we only need current state equals states idle. Okay, but we've got another function, perform state actions. And here, in the perform state actions, we've got match current state. So here we will list our states. So I've got only two states.move and states.idle. Let's focus on the easier for now, which is states idle. So here is that line velocity equals velocity that move toward vector zero to simply stop our character from moving and also sprite that animation equal idle. We change the animation to idle and that's it for the idle. Let's get to the move state where we've got the logic for our movement. So character direction dot x remember that character direction is vector2, will equal input get axis UI left and UI right. And same for the Y. And those two lines gives us the information about the direction that our player is currently walking toward. And the third line is a bit harder to explain because when our character is moving right and up at the same time, he will move faster. And that's based on simple math. And to normalize the speed, we need to add this line character direction dot normalized to make his speed even all across the board no matter the direction he's moving right now and below i've got a few if statements and here we'll use the direction from above character direction dot x is less than zero and also character direction dot y equals zero 
and that if simply checks if we are walking left. Then the sprite animation will change to walk left. And that walk left is here in the animated sprite 2D, walk left. That's the name of this animation. Same for the right. And here walk up and walk down animations are a bit different. We didn't add that second part because when our character is moving, for example, up and right, we also would like to add walk up animation. And I can show you that. When our character is moving right, right animation. Up, up animation. But when we move right and up, then the animation changes to up. Even when we move first up and then right, it's still up. And as the last thing, we've got velocity equals character direction times movement speed. So if we want to make our character move faster, then simply change the variable at the top of our script. I almost forgot about one simple but very important thing, and that is to add the delta to our velocity. So let's find the lines where I add the velocity, which is here, movement speed times delta, and also here in the idle state. Let's run. And our character is moving, but very slowly. Here is a quick fix. Let's change this 60 to, for example, 2000. Let's run. It looks fine for me. And all of that was based on a very simple state machine, at least with the very basic concept of it. But I still believe that this simplified version will be enough for a small project. And if you would like to learn more about state machines, then let me know down in the comment. And I'll create another video about them. I hope that you're happy with what we have created today. And also that at the end of this video, your character is properly moving. Please let me know if this video was helpful for you. Or even if you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for your time and have a good day. Bye for now.